Hello, everybody. This is Johnny B. Looks like I'm delegated back down to doing the D recorder as opposed to doing OBS. Only being on OBS for less than a week, I got reported. And we all know why we got reported. Why I got reported and I'm on a 90 day suspension for doing the same exact things <coughs> that everybody else does. All right. That being said, let's go to what you see right there. That was tonight's episode. And Dimash sings the song and then he says, It's not fair to compete against these kids. It's an honor to sing in front of you. The judges get angry. There was a couple things I noticed. One. Faith said... She said a key phrase. She goes, this isn't a free stage. Insinuating that Dimash shouldn't have just got up on that stage and performed... In other words, he was invited for a competition. He sang, and then he bowed out. And she tried to use some insinuation, saying, I had to go on between Whitney Houston and or after Whitney Houston and Adele. You think I wanted to do that? Yeah, but I don't think that was a competition, was it? And you were the worst of the three. In other words, Whitney Houston and Adele were up here and Faith Hill was down there. So that is the reverse situation with Dimash. We all know he's the best. Everybody knows he's the best. And now he's going up against his own countrymen and that boy from India, Lydian. The only thing I wonder is, did the judges ding Daniela once Dimash dropped out? I wondered that. I said, did they ding? Did they ding her? But she handled it very nicely. Okay? Another thing, I see comments. I don't respect my... She gave up $50,000. And then he gave up the chance he would have won a million. Ah, you money-hungry whores out there. First of all... You're looking right there at a multi-billion, not million, billion dollar singer. This guy is going to be rock solid off the charts famous. He already is. Just because Americans are too ignorant to understand. You know, they think, I'm American. I live here. There's an arrogance where people think, that if you're not recognized here, you ain't shit. Ah. Then I introduce them to Dimash and they're like, how come we've never heard of him? I said, because you don't turn on YouTube. And nobody cares. Most of the time, we don't care what Americans think. For crying out loud. You voted for Hillary. So obviously, you don't... No, okay. <laughs> that was a joke. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> um I had to throw a joke in there. Only about a few percentage of people will get that. Um I need you to understand his parents are a big part of his life. Imagine him sitting around his parents don't look like this at all. But they don't like the optics of it. Nothing. Imagine if you're his parents and going, wait a second. You can't win this, Dimash. Why? You beat kids. Or maybe he brought it up to them. You don't know. Because he's that type of person. He goes, I can't beat kids. And if I do beat them, and most likely I will, I look like oh, so you can so that's all you can do is beat kids, huh? You can beat a nine year old and a twelve year old. Woo! Big superstar. Right? In other words, he had a no win situation on that show. 
I told you guys the format of the world's best ABC show was dog shit. I know, I know I'm going to lose followers because I speak the truth and I speak words that people don't like to hear. Okay? But I'm going to tell you how I feel. I'm not going to play any... I hate telling people what they want to hear. I'm going to tell you the truth. Okay? Dimash didn't need this show. And the best thing he could have done was drop out. There will be some people that will... You'll never get 100%. Never get 100%. Okay? Look at the people who hated me so much, they reported me so that I, I get a 90-day suspension. <clears throat> we won't mention that group, will we? Seriously. Okay? So, you never get 100% of people like what you do. But he did the right thing. And God's going to reward him for that. And so are we, the people. They're going to say, wow. Remember I told you his parents raised him right. They raised him right. The money will come. The money will come. His parents are sitting there going, you don't need that. And how dare RuPaul. RuPaul, fuck off. <laughs> Seriously. You know, this is just bullshit. <laughs> Coming from a flamer like that, like we, like seriously, like I care. You were the one so arrogant on the first show going, we just discovered a star. Yeah, you may have discovered it. He's been discovered a long time ago, douchebag. We didn't need your permission, RuPaul. He's going to be fine with or without you. In fact, I think he does much better without you. Okay? That's my little tantrum on RuPaul. Can't stand that guy. All right, guys. It's good to be back. I'm going to post this one. Peace.